Welcome back. We're going to do an episode today where I take my wife through a, I'd say an intermediate program. Uh, we're going to use some kettlebells for a few of the exercises, but again, if you just have a cloth bag, a grocery bag that you can put some canned goods in for resistance, that's fine. That'll work. Anything you can grip, basically, a water bottle, anything like that. We're going to use a TheraBand. Uh, if you don't have a TheraBand, you can still do the same exercises. Just try to make it more of an isometric where you're contracting by actually squeezing the muscles I'm going to be cueing. But if you do have a TheraBand, this is a fantastic lower back glute tie-in exercise. Uh, it's also good for the knees, actually. So if you have weak knees, this is another one that you can maybe do. Uh, lastly, we're going to use boxing gloves because I have them. Uh, this is going to be, I wouldn't call it necessarily cardio, it, it's cardio, but uh, she's going to be punching into the heavy bag here. She's going to be on top of it while it's on the ground like she's just punching into the ground. Okay, so we're going to do this after we do bicep curls and some push-ups. And what it's doing is it's just super fatiguing the muscles in a different way than they used to. If you don't have a heavy bag, which I know most people probably don't, you could do this on a mattress. Or you could take like a comforter and just wrap it up and tie it up with, uh, you know, bungee cords or tape, rope, whatever you want. Just anything you have that's round and soft so you don't hurt your hands or your wrists. We're not looking for this. To, I'm not training people to be boxers here. It's just a nice way to get um, a bit of a different kind of intensity to the slower motions that we're going to do in Could you before. do it without boxing gloves? You can do it without boxing gloves. is fine as okay. well as long as you have... Um, something soft to punch into and again just be careful to really brace your wrists and uh, it sometimes is a good way to get a bit of frustration out as well which <laughs> a lot of people might be having by this point yeah. so uh, we'll start okay you ready yeah All right. I'm going to start you with these TheraBand exercises so you're gonna lay on your back okay and I will get this just around the ankles if you have the TheraBand if you don't pretend that it's there and then I want her to pull her toes back and get this so there's a little bit of tension already so it doesn't slip around too much. Now for you at home, you're going to use whatever fitness level you have. So for her, she's going to be able to extend her legs to 45 degrees here. And she's keeping her stomach engaged, her lower back against the ground. If you feel your lower back's arching, then you need to bring the legs up a little bit higher. Okay? And if you can't straighten your legs, then you're going to take the band and put it around your knees and so just bend your knees for me. So your TheraBand would actually be around here and you're using this as your tension. Okay, but she's able to straighten her legs at 45. Bring the chest up. You can brace your head if you want or you can just do what she's doing and cross your hands. And what we're doing is we're using the glute and tying into the lower back back here. The legs are flexed, the toes are pulled back, and we're pushing with our heels so she doesn't rotate her foot at all. She's pushing with the heels and we're going to open 10 times. Open to the max, stop, let it come back in. Stomach is working the whole time. Open, 9, follow along at home if you can, lock the knees out, good, 8, bring it back in. We're really flexing down here in the glute to pull those heels outwards. Back, 6, good, 5. Four. Nice slow pace here. Really focus on getting range of motion and a strong range of motion. Come back in. Two more. Two. Last one. We're going to hold this. Hold this. Ten. Nine. Really flex here. Eight. Bring the chest up higher. Flex here harder. Six. Five. That's great. Four. Three. Two. Slowly bring it back together. Very nice. Take a rest. So we're going to keep that TheraBand around the ankles here and we're going to extend out to the front and we're going to uh, pull one back as we push through the other. So we're going to take the TheraBand and just put it around the feet now. Lift those up, that'd be great. Okay, and this knee is coming in towards the chest as this one's pushing out and we're going slow. So we're going to alternate for 20 of these. And you can kind of move them simultaneously if you want. So this would be bending, that's pulling up, so it's, it's a dynamic exercise, good. Three. Very nice. Four. Excellent. Try to keep your feet a little bit higher here. Good. Right. Good. Back in. Excellent. Se seven, I think. I thought you were counting. Eight. Good. We're keeping this push down. Nine. Again, if you don't have a TheraBand, you can do this without, but you'll get a lot more with it. 
13, good. 14, excellent deals. 15, good. Keep that chest nice and elevated. Keep going. 16. 17, very nice. Again, her lower back's pushing into the ground. There's no arch here. The back's not taking any of that. And one more per side. Good. Let that come down. Just take a rest. You need a rest for a second? Okay. So when she's taking a rest, when I'm taking a rest during stomach work in particular, and this, this is using your whole body, but your stomach's really getting a lot of work here. So I'm going to take my, this is one of the times I will do belly breathing to try to spread and, and expand the stomach and stretch it up a bit. So we'll take two more of those. And she's chest breathing now, but I want her to breathe into here and expand the belly. There you go, better. One more, expand, deeper, deeper, you got more than that. Fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, let it go. Okay, good. So now we're going to go back into the original first exercise we did using the glutes, but we're going to try to shoot our legs straight up from 90. So when you go from 45 to 90, it's going to include the outer side of your gluteus maximus, as well as tying into the lower back and the sacred throat much more, okay? Around the ankles, great. Pull the toes back, push through the heels, and you need to be able to lock your knees out here, okay? I have a hard time doing that. I, everybody has a hard time doing it. So you really are, are trying your best, okay? And we're, again, good, that's great. We're really flexing back here, the back of the glute into the lower back here to open the heels, and I'm not letting the foot rotate out. They're, they're leading with the heel. Good, that's three, four, Look to the ceiling, not to your knees. Good. Excellent, Ilsa. Six. Keep this locked out. Seven. Very nice. Eight. Flex the glutes, the lower back. Push the lower back into the ground. This is contracted. And one more we're going to hold. Open up. Pull this down. Hold. Nine. Eight. Seven. Good. Six, lock it up. Five, toes are pulled back. Four, three, two, excellent. Take a rest, very brief rest. And then we're going to do another set of the push pulls with the feet. Okay, so you're using your hip flexors there, you're using the lower abs, your psoas is getting involved, and we're getting it to open and close the way it should. It's, it, we're really taking our time in a smooth motion here, trying to use the contraction of the muscles and the mechanics of the body to control that motion as much as we can. It's not a sloppy, explosive motion. We're trying to make it nice and smooth, okay? Oh, nice, good job. Okay, 20. 19, very nice, great form. 18, good job. 17, and again, if you can't do this many reps, just do as much as you can and try to catch up. 15, every time you come back, try to just get a little bit more in each set. 13. 12, the stomach's down, the chest is up. Look at the ceiling, try to bring that chest up to the ceiling. 9. 8. 7, like a frog. <laughs> 6. Not helping. Five, and you notice she braced her neck because her neck's getting sore? Let your neck do the work until it can't anymore. Then brace the neck. Two more? I don't know. Yeah. And one more per side. Good. Call it. And you could see as she was getting more and more tired, she was bringing her leg angle up to make it a little bit easier. I would rather see that than seeing the lower back arch. Okay, so that, that's a, a good modification as it gets harder to get through all the reps without stopping. Make it a little bit easier by pulling your feet up in the air a little bit more so there's less leverage on the abs. That was a smart choice for you. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get into the hamstrings, the glutes, and the lower back. Am I staying here? Uh, you can stay here, but I'd like it if you shifted that way about. Nope, nope. Right there. Good. And move down this way just a, a hair. That's great. That's perfect right there. Is that okay for you? Yeah. Okay. She should be feeling this in the hamstrings, the glutes, and the lower back. Uh, this is from my foundation training background, and I find this one of the best moves that I've learned from that uh, modality. Uh, really great to engage the inside thighs, again the psoas, it's good for knee pain again because 
we're getting that internal rotation and the tension of the inside of the leg, which is typically the lazy part of most legs in today's modern society. And so I don't want too much of a bend in the knee. So her knees aren't, aren't here. We're not doing sit-ups. This is a short hamstring. We want a long hamstring, so we're pulling those heels out. So there's about 30, 40 degree bend at the most. The heels are apart about an inch and the toes are touching together and then she's going to pull those back in dorsiflexion as much as she can so the anterior tibialis is working and that also lengthens the hamstrings even further. Her fingertips are going to dig into the ground so her palm is working. She's going to take one deep breath pulling the rib cage away from the hips creating space here. Pulling the shoulders and the stomach down into the ground on exhale. And she's going to squeeze the knees together as hard as she can for a count of 10. Squeeze. 9. All the way from the hips to the knees. 7. Harder. Six, we're rotating the femurs inwards a bit. Three, two, one more of those deep breaths. Pull the ribs away, making space, and then pull the stomach down on exhale. Good. Now she's gonna drive her heels down into the ground. She's not lifting with her back. She's using the friction of her heels in the ground and the hamstrings to pull the hips just up about an inch or two. She doesn't have to come up here. I just need them off the ground so the hamstrings are working. Hamstrings working? Good. Again, you can see her chin's nicely placed. It's not up here. She's not pushing off the back of her head. She's pulled her chin down, so it's an even cervical spine. You're going to take another one of those deep breaths in the chest. As much as you can, pull the ribs away from the hips, and then contract and pull the stomach down to the spine, squeezing the glutes and hamstrings, keeping the knees squeezing. I know there's a lot of cues, but they're important. We're going to pull the toes back a little bit harder, open the toes, squeeze here, and now we're going to let the hips Tap the ground and come back up for a count of 10. Squeeze the knees together on the way up as hard as you can. 9. Flex the glutes. That's beautiful. 8. Pull the toes back. Don't crunch them. 7. Very nice. She's keeping those knees squeezing the whole way all the way up to her pelvis. Okay, That's very important to get the most out of this. 5. Up. Good. 4. Up. Good. 3. Squeeze the knees. Two. She's going to come up and hold, squeezing the knees, taking another deep breath, creating space here. And then she's going to reach with her feet for 10. She's going to reach out while she squeezes her knees, reach out, and then pull them back. You should feel the hamstrings lengthening even more while you do this. Eight. Squeeze the knees. Good. Seven. Excellent form. Six. Makes me want to do it. I know how, how much better you feel after this. Four more. Good, keep the knees together. Three, very nice. Two, open the toes, pull them back harder. And one more, stop at the top. One more deep breath here. Squeeze the knees, push the glutes up a little bit higher, and we'll hold this for another 10 seconds. Nine, eight, squeeze the knees harder. Six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Okay, so at home, if you couldn't make it through all of that, that's a long period for the hamstrings and glutes to be working. She's done these things with me for a while, so she's more used to it. Uh, if you start getting cramps, embrace the cramps. Uh, you know, stop and stretch them out, but those cramps are good things. That's your body repatterning into an uncomfortable place it should be comfortable with. So because it cramps, does shouldn't discourage you from doing the motion. You should stretch it out, breathe it out, come back in, push yourself again into that position. All right, excellent job. So I'm going to get you to turn around onto your stomach now. And uh, we're going to complement that, that motion with this motion. Uh, so the legs are basically doing the same thing. The knees are together. The toes are together. The heels are apart. And she's going to give me about a 30 degree bend in her knees. And we're keeping contraction from the hips down to the knees, squeezing together and rotating inwards a bit. Okay. My hands are going to come right from under my shoulders. I'm going to pull my nose through my face so my neck's nice and even. That's great. Okay. And we're going to take a deep breath, pulling the elbows up to the ceiling. Go ahead. And then contracting the stomach to hold the rib cage there. Squeeze the knees a bit harder. That's good. You can see her heels are really far apart. She's got a lot of hip mobility this way, so that's great that she can do that. She's squeezing nicely here. This is taut. Two more of those deep breaths. Bring that chest Will up. Will I stay up? Forward. Yeah, stay up. Contract the stomach on exhale. Again, good, contract the stomach on exhale, and I'm going to get her to bring her pinkies to her hips, so she's going to rotate out to the hips, bending the elbows, keeping that nice and up, and I just want these a little wider, okay, so we're trying to widen that chest as well, squeeze the knees, pull the toes back, 
Two more of those deep breaths, get nice and high. Excellent, lots of lower back here, but the hamstrings and glutes are still working. And from there, I want you to rotate so your thumbs are at your hips. And you're gonna pull those thumbs right into the armpits, opening up the shoulders as much as we can. And we're gonna decompress there two more times. Deep breath here. Contract. Lead with the elbows a little bit more. Rotate the shoulders a bit more. Beautiful. Squeeze the knees. I know it's hard. We're gonna hold this for 10, oh. 9, 8, 7. It'll be quick because she's groaning. 5, <laughs> 4, high, high, 3, 2, and relax down. Okay, so that, that work should have been mostly in here, but at the end, those shoulders should have been working pretty hard to hold those elbows up in the air, correct? Yeah. Great. So that will be basically our warm-up today. I'm going to get her to stand up. So for the very entry-level people, um, you can use any flat surface or even a rack like this for this. For her, she's a little bit more advanced, so she's going to go from her knees, and basically we're going to do push-ups. So we're going to start by just opening the chest, and again, when I'm doing a push-up, my shoulder doesn't stay forward. I'm letting my chest open, and then I'm closing my chest by squeezing my chest, but I'm not pushing my shoulders too far forward. I'm keeping them in joint. Okay, go ahead. She's going to go from her knees. I would go from my toes or have her lay on my back and go from my toes for extra resistance if you're that advanced. Not me. Now for her, her weak point is at the bottom range, and that's the case for most people. So we're going to do this in a way that you would work that bottom range a little bit more. And this doesn't change if you're using the wall instead because you're not strong enough to do this. You can still do this on the wall. So she's going to do the top half. She's just going to come down halfway and do a set of five. Her back's staying nice and stable. The shoulders aren't rolling back too far. It's not collapsing. She's squeezing her chest. Two more. Her knees are not crossed. One more. Stop at the top. Take a deep breath. Tighten up the stomach. And she's going to come all the way down to the ground. Okay, this is going to be embarrassing. No, no, you'll be fine. Come all the way down to the ground. Okay, so we're Would going to rest get, at the ground. We're going to rest at the ground. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to do five reps from the bottom to halfway as close as we can or as high as we can by stopping and then squeezing up and then coming back down with control. Go ahead. Good, good, good. Good, back down. That's fine. So for her, that's as far as she can push. She's slowly working this, this point out for herself. Good. Two. Back down. Just as much as you can. Go. Three. Atta girl. Good. Keep the stomach tight. Keep the knees together. Go. Four. Good. Good. Up, 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 up. Good. Relax. One more halfway. Come on up. 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 Halfway. Hold. Hold it halfway. Five. Four. Three. Two. Up to the top. Good. Hold. Take a little bit of a rest, but you're still working because you're at the top. And now she's going to go down as far as she can and come up for five reps. Up. If you can get all the way down to the ground, go for it. Get it, girl. Three. Up, up, up. Come on. Squeeze your chest. Good, girl. Two. Squeeze, squeeze. Good. Last one. Last one. Excellent. Fantastic. Okay, so use as much range of motion as you can. Just keep it controlled. Okay, uh, just give me... Give me a little, a little space here. So with those push-ups, you were watching her. She was doing pretty good. I don't want to see this happen. That's not a, this isn't a push-up, okay? Same with this. <laughs> this is using our shoulders a lot. Not necessarily a bad thing, but it's not a push-up. Our body's a plank. My elbows come down to 45, nice and controlled. And I'm squeezing that back up. My shoulders aren't coming forward like that. They're staying back, okay, down. Squeeze up. So you can, for the next exercise, these are going to be weighted lunges, okay, or grenade lunges if you want. You can use the bag with the cans, but because we have them, we're going to use um, kettlebells. Kettlebells, rather. Oh, man, that was a lot for me yesterday with eight pounds. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. So okay. Oh. I also have these bags like this that are eight pounds. So we're going to work up to our weight. We're going to do one set with no weight, and each alternate set will add a little bit of weight. I want you to do the same. I don't care if your rep range starts to come down, but try to get a challenging weight. Okay, so go ahead. Um, and, and for me, what I'm trying to do with the grenade lunges, sorry, babe. Just give me one sec. The difference between how I'm doing this and a regular lunge where I'm crossed here and coming down and up like this is my opposing hand from the leg that's forward 
is straight up. But it's not here. I'm using the intercostals and my obliques and my stomach to push it up high. And there's less split of weight. So when I'm doing a lunge, there's about a 60-40 split. For this, this is just balance. I'm really trying to almost think about squatting down into this and pushing up majority of the front leg. 85-90% is on that front leg. This is just for a bit of balance. So it's slightly different than doing the lunge the way we've done it in the previous uh, programs. So go ahead. Okay. First set, no weight, just get used to the motion. So put a little bit more onto that front foot, stand on the front foot a little bit more, and this is really where we're trying to feel this. Drive up through the heel. You can let your knee come a little bit further forward on this one. Good. Back up. Come down to the front. Good. And she's really pushing up through that arm, creating space here. All right, six more. We're doing a set of 12, six. A little bit more on the front. Good. That's better. Four, this is just balance. Three, drive it straight up. Two, straight up. And one more. Excellent. So unlike lunges, I will go back and forth for these because the back leg's not doing any work. On a, on a lunge, my back leg is doing a bit of work. So she's going to straighten that hand, open this up, get this nice and strong. Try not to knock the light bulb out. Yeah. Okay. Good girl. That's good. Okay. Go ahead. Set of 12. Yep. Drive through the front leg a bit more. Good. 12. She's keeping her hips nice and square. Her stomach's nice and tight. There's no weird twists and turns happening in the skeletal system here. Good job. This is it eight? Yeah. Okay. Push up. Push up. Seven, like you're pushing something up with the opposing hand. Six, excellent, that's better. Five, back and the head are nice and strong, the head's not hanging down. Four, three, excellent. Two, last one, push up, push up. Good, all right, come on with that. All right, we're gonna go back down to another set of push-ups. Go ahead. Try not to take too much time between, but if you need to take a rest, then take a rest, catch your breath. Top half for five. Five. Good. Four. Nice control. Three. Two. Very nice. One. Stop at the top. Take a deep breath. Slowly let yourself come all the way down to the ground. Control this motion. We'll go down for like a count of four. Three. Two. One. All the way down. Good. Those eccentric motions are really good for the tendons and ligaments, and they're a great way to build strength if you can't push up. So she's going to do her best. She's already fatigued. She may not get very high, but that's fine. Five times as much as you can. Up, up, up. Out of girl. Good. Five. Four. Good. Good form. Go. Three. Out of girl. Two. Go. Go. Push. Push. Good. One more. One more. One more. Okay. Rest. Rest for a second. Okay, get yourself all the way up to the beginning position of that. You can cheat if you want. Yeah, doing that. All right. As, as much range as you can for a set of five now. So not just halfway. If you go a little lower, go a little lower. Go ahead, big. Five. Up. Good. Four. Up. Three. Good. Up. Two. Good. One. Up to the top. Excellent. Okay. If you could do more reps, then throw in a few more reps. Okay, so... I'm not really a guy that's like, oh, you do three sets of 15. If you're doing three sets of 15 and it's a breeze, do three sets of 20. If you do three sets of 50, do three sets of 50s. Push yourself through this. Unless you can get more resistance, like wearing a backpack with some cans or some, I don't know, I have a lot of drum hardware that weighs a lot so I can throw some steel in a backpack and do them. Or she can lay on my back and want to show. So if, if you're a stronger person and you have somebody around that is of manageable weight, you can be using them for these push-ups like so, okay. Okay, so that's just for example. Anything that you can use around the house is fine for more resistance. She's going to do another set of those lunges now, and she's going to grab the 8 pounds, whatever it is for you. This is a middle weight, and we're not going for 12 reps anymore. We're going for 10 reps now, okay. And now this is going to work a lot more because we have resistance at the top of it. This is all working. Let's start? Yeah, go ahead. 
really drive through that front leg. Push your piston up. Good. Ten. Beautiful. Nine. Great form. Eight. Seven. Good. Follow this pace at home. This is a good pace. Nice and controlled. Nice range of motion. Feel the hip. Glutes and hamstrings working nicely. Three. Two. And last one. Excellent. Great job. Switch side? Yeah, switch sides. Watch the light bulb. Push that all the way up. Open this up. Strong here. Strong here. Push it up harder. Good. Right there. That's beautiful. She's really opening that up. Okay, there's a lot of work happening here as well. Seven. Squeeze that up. Very nice. Five. Four. Try to strengthen that left arm. Good. Three. Two, good, it's good. Last one, last one. Drive it up, drive it up, squeeze up. I think I only did eight so far. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. keep going, keep going. We're just going for ten reps, though, eh? I know. Okay. But not eight. All right. Let's see how I do it the 15th. Yes. So we're not going to do another set of push-ups now. What we are going to do is she's going to take, um, what do you usually do for, for chest press? Not flies, but press. Uh, like ten? Yeah, I guess. Okay. So we're going to go a little bit heavier. The chest is already warmed up. So when she's doing chest flies, she's usually on a bench or something, and it's really opening up, and it should be a more difficult exercise. But we're going to use, again, we're going to use the floor as our barometer today. So I'm going to get her to grab these 15s, and we're starting up here. And we're not going too wide here. We're letting the shoulders or the, the elbows come down just to the ground, and we're going to pause, grip the floor, pull the stomach down. I'm not arching my back for this. Pull it down, and we're just going to squeeze up to the top. Let it come down, squeeze it up to the top. But when I bring it in, I'm bringing it together and then opening up. But it's nice and safe because that floor is going to stop that uh, shoulder from taking any of this. All right, go ahead. I don't think I've done that very much. No, you haven't. More chest flies. Okay, grab. Good. Straighten it up. Pull this down into the ground, slowly, slower, slower, slower. So we're going to go about three seconds each direction. Go ahead, three, two, one, three, two, slow it down, one, three, two, one, good, that's better. Nice and slow, we're really feeling the contraction, it's super controlled. Is that a good way for you? Mm -hmm. Okay, back up. I think I could do a little bit more, but... Okay, seven. That's a great pace. Take your time. Time under tension. Make a little bit of weight feel a lot heavier. Halfway, this is five. Up. Notice how nice her stomach is pushing down into the ground. She's not arching the back. Good for Four. Slow it down. Don't start rushing. Even when it gets hard, make it slower. The harder it gets, slow it down even more. Two. Last one, we're going to stop at halfway. Come up to halfway. Hold. Ten. Nine. Eight. This should be a lot of work. Seven. Stomach's tight. Five. Four. Three. Up to the top. And come back down. Excellent. So with the 15s, what was that effort level for you? Not very high. Not very high? Okay. So for the next round, uh, you would either, if that was no work, then you would find something with more resistance, more cans in a bag, if you want, or a, a water bottle. For her, I'm just going to grab some heavier dumbbells. We'll just go up to like the 20s. Would that be sure. enough? You think you're 25? No, let's try 20s. Okay. I'm going to embarrass myself. You won't. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to move up to our heaviest weight for these lunges, and the, the, the glutes and hamstrings should be pretty tired out from what we've done already. Opposite hands open up nice and tall. Again, that, that intercostals and the serratus. External obliques are all quite tight here, pushing that rib cage up, and we're driving through that front leg. We'll just go for eight here. Eight. Good. Seven. Drive it up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Six. This is all nice and stable and tight. These look great. Five. Good. Four. Nice control on the shoulder. Two. And last one. Drive it up. Drive it up. Good. Okay. Switch sides. 
Excellent work. Watch the light bulb. Okay, good, right there is fine. Hazards of the home gym. Low ceilings and light, <laughs> open exposed light bulbs. Go ahead, eight. Drive it up, eight, excellent. So this shoulder for her is a little bit weaker than the other side. Typically the left side is a little bit weaker. So for her, her focus is really pushing that up and keeping this nice and strong. Good, five. Four. Again, if you need more reps, do them. If you find the weight still easy, two. Add a girl, strengthen the shoulder. Last one, last one. Drive it straight up into the seal. Drive it up, 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 up. Good, beautiful, excellent. She's going to come back down. We're going to get back into the chest. Then we're going to hit some biceps, and then we're going to throw in the uh, the old heavy bag or the wrapped up comforter or the mattress or you know it could even be a couch. Could be a couch. <laughs> So we'll grab the 20s for her. I've done that on occasion. Yeah. Not for cardio, though. <laughs> Still got the cardio, though. <laughs> you got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, feel that out. Get it nice and strong. Pull the stomach down together. Slow, three second count. Three, two, one. Squeeze it back up. Three, two, very nice. One, good. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Six more like that. Three, two, one. Three, two. Good pace. Five more like that. Make sure you can still control the weight. Don't go so heavy that your elbows are shaking back and forth from the first rep. A couple at the end is fine. Three more of those, babe. Up, two, very nice, very nice, keep going, keep going, one more, one more, come down, good, good, up, 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 squeeze, you got the halfway in you? Yeah. Okay, halfway, five second hold, five, four, three, two, okay, good, I got it. Thanks. Excellent. Another set of lunges. Okay, so that 20 pounds for her was getting a little bit work, if you don't have a spotter, then maybe do, don't do the hold or work up to it or just hold it for two seconds, whatever you got, right? But you don't want to get to the stage where something gives. So push yourself hard, but like 80%, not 100%, especially right now, you don't, you know, you don't want any injuries. Okay, okay. so uh, up to your feet there. For the bicep exercises she's about to do, again, you can use any, any form of resistance you got, whatever is, uh, whatever your body can cope with, okay? We're going for something we can do about 12 to 15 reps per side. She's going to go both hands together, uh, which would be tens. Bicep curls? Yeah. Yeah, let's start with tens. Okay. Just oh. regular ones? So she's going to start with supinated curls. Supinated curls, there's motion in the wrist and the elbow here. And I'm trying to pull my pinky up to my shoulder and then come back down. She's going to do it from a standing position, and when I'm doing bicep curls, I'm, I'm not, my body's not relaxed. My, I check my feet, make sure they're even, tighten up the stomach so it's not hanging down here. Okay, pull it up, chest back, and now I'm pull, arcing up and coming back. My elbow does not track behind the body to pull this up like so. I'm trying to keep the elbow at the front. It can move forward a little bit, but not back. Okay, that's a different exercise. And we'll go for a set of 15 here. So I'm going to center you to the camera. Good form. Get tall with the breath. Shoulders come back. And we're squeezing that bicep. Yeah, it looks great. 15. 14. Good. 13. 12. We're really focusing on this part of the where I'm doing the work. Ten more. Ten. Try to let you come back and down a little bit. Nine. Good. Get tall. Eight. Grip it. That's not a loose hand. It's gripped. Six more. Six. Five. Very nice. Three. I had a 
Another girl get it. Two more. And one more. All right, that weight was about perfect for the effort level she's reaching. It's about 70%? 75, 80? I don't, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> so we're looking for about a 70% effort on the first set. It's just kind of getting the muscles warmed up, getting in tune with the muscles, and uh, then we'll go back to it. But what she's going to do in between this is what's going to get her heart rate up uh, quite a bit. So we're going to use the heavy bag here. And again, at home, you can use comforter or the mattress, whatever you want. And uh, we'll throw the gloves on her. You don't need gloves. So she's literally just going to get on top of this any form you like. can even be from a standing position. And she's just going to throw nice punches left and right, okay, with a good pace. And again, we're not, uh, we're not trying to hit as hard as we can. What we are trying to do is get the biceps and chest and shoulders to be reacting. So about this pace, okay? Can I use these? Yeah. If you have something that uh, you can throw on like, like a glove, that's fine. Protect your skin and uh, your wrist to some extent. I wouldn't go to the extent of putting wraps on for this because we're trying to be speedy here going between bicep curls and this. Go ahead, whatever's comfortable for you, and we'll go for 30 seconds. Go ahead. Is it fast? Yeah. A little harder. Get a nice twist. We're trying to hit with the knuckles. Index finger knuckle. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Take it out. Take it out. That's not six feet of distance, sir. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I can smell your body odor. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Another 15 seconds. Go. 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 Lay into it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Back. Six feet. Six feet. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay. Stop. Take the gloves off. Excellent work. Okay, and uh, we're going to move up to 15s, and I, I know, I know, I know. I'm not sure I can do 15 I'm not looking for 15 reps anymore. Okay, so she's going to try to supinate. Kettlebells aren't the best for this, but you got to make do with what you got. And we're just going to go for 10. Excellent. Good. Great form. Great form. That's great. I can see this peeking out. Her, her arms have come so long, <laughs> so far recently. That's great. Eight. I used to have skinny little toothpicks. Yeah, they're getting there. They're getting there. They're getting nice. Good, good, good. Up, up, up. I can't do that. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. That Focus. Was just four. Six. Come on. Come on. Okay, one more. One more here. One more. One more. Excellent. Drop him. Drop him. So she's going to move down to finish off these last five. That's fine if you want to do that. Stripping down in the weight is fine. So if you can't get through all the reps, Move back to the weight that you can. Or just take a can out of the bag. Each bag, keep going. Two. One more. I think that was just four, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> okay. Right. It's always good when the host mis miscounts. I do it often. Yes. Okay. Back on with the gloves. We're back and forth here. This should really be a burner for the biceps and the shoulders. I don't think I've done cardio in four weeks since this started. Well, that's why we've got to start throwing <laughs> it back in. It's an easy one to omit. Yeah. It's easy to get lazy and not come down and work out, but when you do, you sure feel a lot better when you get that oxygen and circulation well, going. I've got a couple of times where I didn't feel like it at all, and then after 10 minutes, I feel better. Always. You just got to right. get down and start. You just got to start, and you'll feel better. But starting's hard. Go, 30. <laughs> 20. Get it. Kill. <laughs> 10, go, 2, 1, relax. So you can see all that twisting she's getting work in the obliques. Her thighs are having to squeeze in on, on the bag. So if you have a bag, you're getting additional work on the inside of the legs. It's, it's a great one to throw in between. I, I typically would throw this kind of exercise in between a small muscle group like a bicep or a tricep or a shoulder. Uh, because it's working that muscle a bit more, but it's also, you're not already exhausted from like a set of squats where you don't have any moxie left for it. Go ahead. Try, for, try to get those five again. All right, go ahead. Tall. Good. Five. She can cheat a bit with the heavier weight if she wants. Her elbows are coming back a little bit. I'm not going to stop her because she, this is a heavy weight for her. That's fine. When we move down to the other weight, two more. 
You move down to this other weight. I'm going to be more strict on her form. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Atta girl. Good. Okay, drop him. Drop him. Quick. Quick transitions here, guys. Six more here. Keep those elbows forward. Good. Much better. Six. Five. Beautiful. Four. Let's go. Let's go. Three. Good. Clean it up. Clean it up. Two more. Two more. Good. One more. Good. That's great. Throw it down. All right. Do you want to catch your breath and get a drink? Sure. Okay. So she's going to have a drink and catch her breath, and that's fine. Again, we're going to do quick transitions, but if you get to the point that you don't think you have enough energy to get through a decent 30 seconds, I'd rather you take a little bit of time and catch your energy, grab a drink for the parched throat, and now we'll get into that. Don't drink too much water or you'll get, uh, you'll get a stitch in your side. Good. And again, the gloves aren't necessary, it's just because we're using a bag. If you're using a comforter or um, the bed or the couch, you probably don't need this to protect your knuckles. It's more for protecting your knuckles than anything. Alright, so, let me get you back here. Alright. Get in there, get dirty. <laughs> Alright, 30 seconds. Get him, Ma! Get him! <laughs> Come on, keep going, keep going. 20 seconds. Ten. You can use a clock rock at home. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Good girl. Okay. Catch your breath. And we're going to end this party today with uh, bent over rows, but uh, this is different than we've done before here because usually when we do bent over rows, I have you leaning on something for support. So she's gonna use a weight that's maybe a little bit lighter. If you have a higher level of fitness, you're gonna still go for your max weight with both hands. And I'm not bent over here where my lower back is taking all that uh, stress of this motion because I have nothing supporting me, okay? But I still wanna bend over row. We're still trying to get the, the lats and the rear delts to be pulling this up. So I'm going to step slightly wider and I'm going to let my hips sit down into this almost like a squat. And now that I'm nice and braced, I'm going to lean forward. I'm still not up here. I'm, this isn't upper back. I don't want the upper back to work. I want her to lean forward here, but most of that stability is from my hamstrings and glutes, whereas this would be my lower back more. So sit back down into it and I'm not pulling up here like this. I'm keeping my elbows close, pulling them back, trying to squeeze my back together, opening the chest, closing the back, and letting it come back down, driving through the heels, like so. Okay? Why don't you start with the set with the tens? Yeah, I thought so. So I want you right here so that they have a good view of that. Right here. Good. That's great. Down. I want the chest down a little bit further. Let the arms hang relaxed. And we're squeezing here to pull the hin. Yeah, good, good. 11, squeeze here. 10, try to feel that lat growing out to the side. 9, good. 8, 7, pull the shoulders back more. 6, good. 5, 4, very nice. 3, 2, Put it down. We're just going to take a bre uh, breath. This is our last burner set just to get everything else maxed out. So she's going to take about a 10 second break and then we're going to do another set with a slightly heavier weight. Do you think you could do it with the 15s? I try. Okay, so she's going to try with the 15s. Again, keep the other weight handy if you can or, you know, just get ready to take a can out of the bag. Good. Set a 10. Good. Nine. Pull the elbows a little wider to your body. Yes, right there is great. Seven, good. Six, good form. Five, use this as much as you can. Go, go. Four, good. That's great. Three, two, one. Put them down. Beautiful. Very nice. 
Okay, so we're gonna, that was that was easy enough for, we're gonna move up one more weight. Watch your eyes, see? I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> so we're gonna go up to the 20s, and I just wanna set it eight, okay? So just a burner. Just right away? Nope, take another about five, 10 oh. seconds. All right, let's get it. Nice strong grip. Don't let the knees bow in. Keep them nice and strong. Beautiful. Eight. Eight. Beautiful. Seven. Good. Pull the shoulders back. Six. Good. Chest up. Five. Four. Three. Good. Two. One more. One more. Up, 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 up. Good. Put them down. Those were so good. We're actually going to extend this video and do one more set with the heavies because those look fantastic. Take 10 seconds. Like to surprise people with a little, <laughs> a little more than they thought they were going to get, because you always leave being thankful for it. Okay? Uh, sometimes you put a weight on a machine for me. I'm like, I do half of that on my own, and then I can actually do it. Yeah. Part is just believing it. Yeah. Okay, another about five seconds here, guys, and we'll wrap it up with one more set of of this. I hope you enjoyed the workout. Uh, it seems the videos with my wife and them get more views. Robin! <laughs> so, so I'll try to use this tool that I have in my disposal no. much more often. I guess I'm boring, but uh, <laughs> go ahead. Something like that. We'll get one more set of eight here. Oh, God. Nice, strong abs. Everything's strong. Go ahead. Pull, pull, pull. Eight. Good. To the hips. Seven. A little more. Six. Beautiful. Shoulders back. Five. There you go. Get it. Four. Mm. Knees. Three, knees up. Two, one more. Ah, uh, great, that was good. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, take that for what it is. Do the most you can with it. That's probably about a 30 minute workout for an intermediate level. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot. Okay.